Hello, plenty of Luke Pollard here. Uh, it was a rather late night uh, last night in the Commons. Uh, we had debates on the EU withdrawal bill, which is a great power grab bill, uh, until about one o'clock in the morning. There were three votes yesterday. Um, I was the only Plymouth MP to vote uh, in, the, uh, in the divisions last night, which is what you call a vote in the House of Commons. Um, I voted to stop the government having a massive expansion of its powers and the ability to uh, create, amend and delete laws without going through the House of Commons. Um, I sat in the debate quite a lot yesterday, and thank you to those people who are sending me screen grabs of me looking moody and tired. That was, uh, that was lovely, thank you. Um, but uh, I listened to some really good contributions, some excellent debates on the Labour side, some really good contributions on the Conservative side as well. There seems to be a consensus that the bill as drafted has some serious flaws in it. Now, I think the ability for the government to give themselves the power to amend the bill after it's been passed to do whatever they want with it basically means that they can amend the bill to remove all the safeguards, they can amend the bill to remove the restriction that they can't create new criminal charges uh, as a result of this bill, they can amend the bill to do pretty much whatever they want. It's an emergency powers bill. Now, I don't think anyone in Plymouth voted in the Brexit referendum to give the government unfettered, massive expansion of powers without proper parliamentary scrutiny. If I remember that debate properly, it was about people saying we're going to take back control. It's about more democratic oversight, about making our parliament sovereign. This is the opposite of that. This was an unashamed power grab by Theresa May. Now, she's already trying to stack the bill committees uh, to have a majority, even though she lost her majority in the House of Commons at the election. I don't trust the Tories with health and education, and I'm not trusting them with our democracy either, because time and time again, and since I've been here, it's only been three months as an MP, I've seen them erode parliamentary scrutiny, erode parliamentary democracy, so they can railroad stuff through. That's not something I'm going to vote for on your behalf. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's got in touch about the EU withdrawal bill, the great power grab bill, uh, to give me their views. Um, this bill does not stop Brexit. Um, Voting against it does not stop Brexit. Um, what it, uh, voting against last night, what it did was put on the table our determination that the government will not weaken our democracy, will not be able to bypass Parliament and the democratic will of the people, and will be held accountable for their actions when it comes to leaving the EU and beyond. There's a lot of work still to do. It now moves to the committee stage, and it's sitting as a committee of the full house, which my understanding is that means every single member of parliament, rather than just say 50 MPs that sit on a bill committee, can comment on it. There were some exceptional contributions last night uh, from uh, Conservative Labour MPs that looked at the fine detail of the bill. Um, I'll be aiming to speak in that committee stage to express concerns on behalf of the people of Plymouth. If you've got any strong views on that, uh, do let me know. Um, uh, the uh, day starts uh, again this morning, I've had meetings from 9 o'clock. I must admit, uh, I need a few more cups of tea uh, to keep me going today. Um, thanks very much for everyone who was worried about me getting home last night. Uh, got, uh, got a taxi back, so all, all good. Um, and the work will probably continue late into the evening tonight, so we've got another uh, late series of votes on the finance bill. Um, thanks very much for your time, Plymouth. Uh, I'll keep the updates coming. See you soon.